I have to dig this up like right away. We finally got a gout tuber. It is no exaggeration to say that I have literally been doing this all day for the past two days. And in the past like five hours or so, I've had my main account also going for a gout tuber. So I, I don't know. I don't know exactly how long it took me, but I literally never want to do this again. And now that we have one, I just need the gems to trade it in to whoever the heck gives you the uh, better machete. And then we'll be done with the Karamja Diaries. And I'm never doing this again. I'm not making a new RuneScape account ever again. This was terrible. All right, Softa Doc, where are you, my friend? I need you to make me machete. Yes, I would like to get machete. Thank you. Give me opal machete. Order the opal machete. Give it to me. Thank you. There it is. We have done the easy, medium, and hard Karamja Diaries. We need to speak to Jackie the Fruit to collect our rewards. All right, Jackie, give me the goods. I Achievement Diary. You should be very proud of me. Does she give me everything, or am I going to have to go around Karamja and grab things from everyone? Oh, I'm so glad they updated this. Now, I know what you're thinking. Shelby, you did this hard diary so that you would save yourselves a couple minutes every single time you had to get a Slayer task, since you can use this teleport to the gem mine. But it took you, like, 12-plus hours to get the Gout Tuber. So was it really worth it? Am I actually going to save 12 hours of my time getting Slayer tasks from Duradel by teleporting here? No. Real quick, a thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Raycon makes high quality wireless earbuds that give a great sound every time at half the price of other premium audio brands. I've been using Raycon's everyday earbuds for a few months now and they have never disappointed. They're always in my ears when I'm making videos, playing my guitar, or working out. I've always had trouble with wireless earbuds falling out of my ears, but Raycon's come with several different gel tips to cater the perfect fit to you and to me. Not only that, but they offer an eight hour playtime plus a 32 hour battery life, so you'll be able to use these all day. Raycon's also have a built in mic, so if somebody calls you while you're jamming out there's no need to scramble to take them out with one press of a button you can answer the call seamlessly now we all know a friend or family member that's impossible to shop for for the holidays but raycons are a great gift for pretty much anybody they come in five stylish colors and offer free shipping and returns plus a 45 day happiness guarantee so if you're not happy with your order you can return them with zero hassle so go ahead and support the channel by clicking the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com forward slash guides for us all and use code holiday to get 15 percent off site wide thank you so much again to raycon for sponsoring these video so I can keep doing what I'm doing. Let's get back to the video. Let's go get a task from Duradel and let's use these lamps on Herblore XP because at least that will make me feel just a little bit better. We got greater demons, you know, not too bad. I'll take it. Got ourselves our first Fossil Island Wyvern task, which is great. We absolutely shred these guys with the Zami Hosta, which is amazing. We also just hit 67 Slayer. Massive milestone. You are completely allowed to clap. Okay, you have got to be kidding me. We just got Dragon Throne Axes from Worms, and the reason this is just so perplexing to me is because it took me an absolute eternity to get these on my collection log account. I think I killed like 7,000 worms and like 2,000 plus hydras before I got these bad boys. And here we are just getting them on our second worms task here. Oh my god, and as many of you have probably already started typing in the comments, I did that entire worms task with an elemental shield on because I forgot to put my defender back on after the ancient wyvern, not ancient wyvern, the uh, fossil island wyverns task. Wow. That is why it took so long that okay so since dave has done a lot of zora and vorkath recently he's gotten a bunch of battle staff drops so i'm gonna be doing all the unpowered orbs that i have on the obelisk of fire here so that i can make them all into fire battle staves and alk them uh, i think we've just put in like 160 battle staves or something so we are gonna be eating good tonight all right, there is all the fire battle staves made and if you check that out high alk value at just about 1.4 million gold Oh, I hope Dave does more Zelra. And there we go. Look at it. 1.4 million GP. Also, I've actually just been running this agility course. I realize if I get to 72 agility, I'll probably have gathered a decent amount of marks of grace. So that'll be some good stamina for a while. And then I'll have access to the third floor of the Hallowed Sepulchre if I do uh, the Sins of the Father quest. Which would be pretty good XP. I think you can get over 60,000 XP per hour just doing floor 3 runs. So... I'm kind of tempted to do that in the near future. It sounds fun. This is why we use the uh, Staff of the Dead, and that is so we can get just Strength XP, and so I can get really, really low hits every time I record when I'm usually getting over 100 XP drops. 85 Strength! What a beautiful milestone. Just like five or six more levels until I'll retire this beautiful thing and pull back out the Zami Spear. So this is why we didn't make a hardcore group Iron Man. My internet has been disconnecting like all the time. I can't explain it. Alright, it's stressful enough playing my normal hardcore Iron Man, but if I had to disappoint Dave as well, it would just be that much harder. And there it is, 68 Slayer, and you know what that means. We are just one Slayer level away from 1620 total. And you know what happened in the year 1620? 
Uh, the uh, first merry-go-round was seen at a fair in Turkey. I bet you didn't know that. Uh, now you do. I had to stock up on some carambuans for the team, as I do. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm just going to toss like 1,500 of these over to Dave. I don't know. He says he's always running out. I don't know how one man can be that hungry. I guess we're just making up for years and years of bad luck at Worms with everything. We've gotten Dragon Knives and Dragon Throne Axes now. Now, to be fair, obviously I would prefer the Dragon Harpoon. I mean, that thing is actually quite useful, but it's okay. It's collection log slots, and you guys know that's honestly my favorite thing in this game. There's nothing that compares to it. There it is, 69 Slayer, which, you know, I joked about it earlier, but this is actually a massively significant stat. It is the last requirement I need for Monkey Madness 2. At least I'm pretty sure it's the last requirement I need. I think I have everything else. It's a quest I could knock out pretty darn easily if I wanted to, and that would open up access to Zenites, potentially, and a bunch of other great little items that are, you know, helpful, and Zenites are kind of cool. Plus, that would give me a reason to unblock Black Demons, and we do have a Blowpipe now, which would make doing Demonics a lot better. So, it's worth thinking about. I probably won't do it right now or anytime super soon, but I'm keeping it in the back of my mind. And here it comes. We're literally 1 XP off. 83 attack. I really wonder how marginal the DPS increases per attack level. I know it increases your overall accuracy, and of course it makes it so you can boost to a higher level with like super attacks, but does it does it help? Like, is it even significant enough to calculate? Okay, I keep getting sukas. Like, it is literally every other task I'm getting sukas, and I'm blowing through my points for no reason. So we need to get to 200 quest points and unlock another block slot so I can throw these disgusting things on there. Luckily, we're at 194 already, so this probably won't take very long at all. I have a ton of super easy quests I haven't done yet, so let's do it. First one up is Grim Tales, which gets us 300 XP off a of thieving level. Olaf's quest is done. I forgot this was even a thing. Like, seriously, this is the strangest quest in the game. And honestly, one of the most fun. And Throne of Miscellanea done. One of the most underwhelming quest queen... Quest queens. God, what's wrong with me? One of the most underwhelming quest screens in the entire game. But I think I'm also going to do Royal Trouble now, just so we can have Kingdom ready to go once I have the money. I mean, I have the money now, but I kind of want to use the money on stuff. But maybe I should just throw it in here. I mean, the supplies you get from Kingdom are ridiculous. All right, time for my quest speed run. Uh, I wanted to use your anvil. All right, we got to wait until it actually starts. Yes, I will bring you the materials. I think it starts right after this. And go! Go, 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 go. I've got your materials. I have everything you need. Many thanks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. 3 seconds, 68 milliseconds. That might be uh, probably not a world record, but it's in the top 10. And Prince Alley Rescue is complete. I'm a damn hero. And I have 201 quest points. Time to finally go unlock that new block slot. Well, I guess we already unlocked it. Time to go use that new block slot. Time to finally block these stupid sukas. Worms? Why am I on a worms task? It's definitely not like I woke up this morning and while eating did the Sukas task because I completely forgot the entire point of this questing grind. Not me. I would <laughs> I would never do that. Alright, I've come to a decision that may be a little controversial, but I'm gonna block worms instead of Sukas. One, because I'm on a worms task and this is the most boring thing in the world. Honestly, I don't know how you guys enjoy worm tasks. They are abysmal. The only redeeming factor is that you do get the worm bones, which are okay if you're maybe like a hardcore, but as an iron, you can do Vorkath. I mean, you get like over a thousand XP per kill in prayer from Vorkath, and I, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like worms are worth it. Dirtel! So, oh, fuck. And here we... I hit a zero. Let's try that again. And... <laughs> please. I'm flicking piety, come on. And here we go, 70 Slayer, a monumentous occasion. We can kill Karasks, which is just another decent task, uh, which will be even better when I actually get the Leaf Blade of Battle Axe. That thing tears through them. They have a bunch of good drops. More importantly, I just got a new mouse. It's sitting right here on my desk. I'm going to plug it in. It looks really cool, and it's got purple on it. Let me put a picture of it on screen. Unless I'm too lazy to edit it in then uh sorry and we just hit 71 slayer i missed it because blood velds are the most chill amazing task ever especially when i'm editing videos and such i literally just click on five of them and i go take a nap until inevitably somebody crashes me what is wrong with you people you can literally just click like two buttons and you're and you're in your own world you know what i'm gonna throw it in just because i love you guys a cheeky little farming level 66 f I, wait that's hunter oh my lord it's 345 in the morning by the way in case you're wondering why i forgot how to talk and we just hit 10 kill count at hispori getting a hard combat task done will this be the bucket 
No, but a Snapdragon Seed and two Iasaurs. That's actually really good. I'm not going to complain about that. So I was doing a Calphite's task, and I was like, man, this is slow and super boring and terrible, and then it hit me. I've gone all the way to 71 Slayer without Bracelets to Slaughter or Expeditious Bracelets, you know, which speed up or slow down your tasks. And I feel like a big idiot, so I'm down here in the gem mine. Now that I finished the Karam Jahar Diary, I can actually mine this whole area, which is a lot faster for gathering the gems I'll need to make those bracelets. So we're probably going to be down here for a little while. Also, you can three tick these, and then of course you have a higher chance to mine them if you have a charged amulet of glory. Now, uh, am I good enough to pull this off? I really don't know yet. We're going to find out. So after just one lap, I have learned that I'm terrible at tick manipulating these, so I'm actually just going to put that all away and just mine them regularly. A little editor's note here, the reason I sunk so much at 3 ticking the gem rocks is because you literally cannot 3 tick the gem rocks, it's a 4 tick cycle on gem rocks, a little bit different than other things, so as it turns out, I need to do a little more research next time. Okay, I've been here mining for quite a long time, and it is time to escape from this place finally, 70 mining has been achieved, we can mine Addy and all sorts of other cool stuff, but most importantly, we have an insane amount of gems in the bank by now, I'm sure this is like two hours of mining gems or something like that, so, oh, bank pen. Let's check the uncut gems tab, oh yeah, that looks beautiful, so that'll be almost 200 bracelets of slaughter, I don't remember if it's jades or opals for the expedition bracelets, but nevertheless, it's a lot, it's a lot, and then a good amount of normal gems that I'll be able to make into jewelry, not like we were short on normal gems, but, you know, I'll take it. There we go, I am done making and enchanting these beautiful bracelets, which looks so weird before you enchant them, like I understand they had to be a different angle. Why'd they have to be such a gross angle? They look like some Power Rangers bracelet or something like that. Anyways, we've got almost 150 bracelets of slaughter, just over 50 expeditious bracelets. I'm going to throw those over into our combat tab. This will make me get through the crappy tasks like cow fights way faster, and this will let me stay in the sweet spot on nice tasks like dust devils for longer. Also, I haven't seen a single dust devil task. That's why it's taken me so long to level up my slayer. Once you get like one dust devil task, it just spirals out of control and your slayer XP triples basically but I've seen nothing. Well, I kinda didn't have anything else planned for this video, but I feel like it needs a little bit more oomph here at the end. So I'm gonna do something I didn't plan on doing for a while. I'm gonna open up every mystery box we've gotten since I started this account. There's 10 of these. In case you guys don't know, the thing you want from these bad boys is the stale bag ad. I believe it's a one in 256 chance to get, and it is one of the most prestigious items in the collection log. Why? because it's stupid and it's insanely hard to get and you cannot control which random events you get. So let's get started. Uh, 20 natures, back to back 20 natures, really good. The flyer, back to back flyers, okay, pretty insane. We got nothing, the steel plate body, some death runes, more nature runes. Wow, these are actually really good. We got nothing but nature runes, death runes, steel plate bodies, and flyers. So actually really good mystery boxes i'm not gonna lie usually they're much worse than this i swear and one more collection log related thing all of the birds eggs i gathered from doing birdhouse runs so far we're also only 66 hunters so i imagine if you do birdhouse runs all the way to 99 you will get a ridiculous amount of birds eggs it'd be really cool to see somebody do that all the way from as low hunter as you can all the way to 99 and make sure you wear the lucky rabbit's foot necklace i probably would have gotten way more of these if i'd worn that nevertheless let us open 15 open let us use Use 15 bird eggs on the shrine worst case scenario we get some seeds and some prayer xp since they do give 100 prayer xp each best case scenario we get an evil chicken's outfit right now no okay we did not let's see what kind of seeds we got though usually they're okay uh pretty terrible for the most part except this u seed oh there was also a papaya in there i guess that's uh I guess that's cool. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you could press the like button. I tell you to press the dislike button, but they basically took that away. So now only I can see the dislikes. So I guess press the dislike button if you want to make me depressed, but nobody else is going to be able to know you disliked it. Thanks, YouTube. Anyways, thank you guys so much once again. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time where I'm going to get so much done. You're going to go, wow, he is gaming. I'm going to shut up now. Have a good day.